In this video, I will show you how you can use uh, uh, diatonic so jazz songs for easy improvisation. And we're going to demonstrate uh, Autumn Leaves. So, uh, Autumn Leaves is based on G minor. Aeolian. And you can show the student that all the chords are related to G minor. C minor, you can begin with G. A minor flat 5, B flat major 7. C minor 7, D minor 7, E flat major 7, F, sorry, F7, G. The only chord which is different is when you play the D7. And that's so you get the leading tone to G. Then with a tritone. So that's the only one which is going to differ. Well, uh, so you show those chords. Then I have a, a transcription arrangement which is easy, where you work with guide tones. These. G minor 6 in the end. So you can show those for the uh, student. Say this is the 7th. Third and the seventh going to third and seventh, and then going to seven, going to third, going to seven, going to third and seven, going to third and seven, seven going to third, seven, third to seven, third, seven to six. Mm -hmm. And then you can show the melody plays these guide tones. Here you have the third, seven, and then you go third. Here you have the third, seven, third. Third, seven, seven. Seven to six. So that's a good way to do an easy jazz arrangement and it sounds good it's kind of empty but it still sounds good So that's a, way, a good way of introducing solo piano in jazz. And you have them play that simple arrangement. Then you have them memorize chord shells. C minus seven, F, this. Mm -hmm. So they memorize this, and then you're gonna start teaching them uh, sequential improvisation. You play sequences. Now I play this to demonstrate, but when a student does it, you play the accompaniment or you put on a backing track. Three, three. Sorry. Mm. So this is the sequence da ba de do da. Then I transpose the step down. And then I play do 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 do. Like just an ending. Could be something else. And then I go a bit longer phrase, something like that. You can begin with students just to get easy. simple melodies that work nicely. 
It's nice to begin with a tension like the nine. Here I play the natural nine. You can play the one if you want to, but in voicings you want to avoid because you get the flat nine here on the minor seven flat five chord. And sometimes you can get away with a plus nine or the natural nine to get a good sound. So that's where you can do that. And you can also show some blue scale. So you show them now the blue scale in G. Before we did blue scale in C. Now you do it in G. And then you can, you know, do some ostinato licks. <clears throat> oh, sorry, it would be here. And then you can uh, combine those. And it's super simple, but it sounds really good. It's simple, more or less, less is more often in jazz. So if you can teach them, like, you know, just to fall like. it sounds good and uh, we have the ears incorporated so that's what I want to do when I start teaching jazz people hear what they're playing they play what they hear on an easy level uh, yeah and with that you you know they have a, an arrangement and they can start improvising with blues or licks or like uh, transposed sequences So uh, with that, you know, you have material for about, I would say, two or three months studies. And uh, once you've gotten that far, you can get back to me and I'll do a, a new uh, video on, on some tunes they can study. Okay, cheers. <laughs>